You're watching Heartland Football Friday, sponsored by EBOMD. Hi again, everyone, and welcome back. It's our final segment of Heartland Football Friday. There's a lot of big plays tonight. So where do we go for our play of the night? I'll kind of tell you how it works. We're running around the newsroom. We're saying, I like that play. I like that play. It's tough to pick them out. Sometimes we even change them by the time we do our top 12 plays on Monday. But we always get good ones, right? Time now to check out the best of tonight. Let's go ahead and roll it. Play of the night. Sponsored by Terry Penrod and Connie Schlemme. Edge Realty. Carterville, Carterville's Andrew Johnson passes to Nick Bishing for the long touchdown against Murfreesboro. Hey, he made it happen first with the catch, then with the throw, then with the run, and Carterville wins the game. They also win our Heartland Football Friday play of the night. All right, the eighth ranked SEMO football team traveling to play at Charleston Southern tomorrow afternoon. The Red Hawks are playing spectacular football. Just outstanding. Now they're gonna play the team with the best pass defense in the conference, but a team that has also struggled. It's a three o'clock kickoff. Simo riding a five game winning streak right now. Paxton DeLorean played about as well as anybody as you could expect. And then on the defensive side, Bryce Norman, who used to star on Heartland Football Friday from Jackson, playing as well as anybody from that defensive side of the ball. Speaking of Jackson, Perryville, and several other teams, they're gonna play on Friday, or on Saturday, tomorrow, for the big games on Saturday afternoon. Meanwhile, check this out at Jackson High School. The Jackson Girls State Finalist golfers, Julia Schlitt, Maddie Thrower, and Ava Moody, getting a special send-off to state. They're gonna participate in the Girls Class 4 State Tournament on Monday and Tuesday at the Dalhousie Golf Club in Cape. Good luck, ladies. Go out there and win yourself a state championship. All right, time to talk a little bit of baseball quickly here toward the end. Uh, the Mets beat the Dodgers in the NL Championship Series to take the lead in that series, three to three to two. I should say the Dodgers lead three two. The Mets, of course, cut that deficit down a little bit. Also, the Yankees, they lead the Guardians in the eighth. I believe it was eight to five at last check, and that was the Yankees leading. They could go up and take themselves a 3-1 lead in that series. I'm out of time. I'm out of breath. I just want to wish you a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you later.